shanks are a real favourite and my country lamb shanks are easy to make. First of all, buy your lamb shanks. Now when you're buying them, you may find that they come Frenched or unfrenched. These are front leg lamb shanks and they are unfrenched. Frenched ones have the bones trimmed from them and the larger lamb shanks come from the back of the animal. When you're buying your lamb shanks, always look for the Quality Mark logo. It's your guarantee that the meat will be tender and lean. What you need to do, grab a plastic bag, any old plastic bag, and make some seasoned flour. A quarter of a cup of flour, some salt and pepper, and a touch of paprika, about a teaspoon. Give that a good shake, and we're going to use that to coat the lamb shanks. I've got four lamb shanks. Once they're dusted in the flour, give them a good shake. We just want them lightly coated and pop them into a little oil in a frying pan and we're going to brown them well. I suggest you only do two lamb shanks at a time because you want them to brown. You don't want them to stew in the frying pan. You want to get lots of lovely colour happening. And save this because we're going to use it all up at the end. Once they're brown, transfer them to a casserole dish. And then brown the other two lamb shanks Pop these into the casserole as well. And then into the pan, put one to two diced onions. Toss the onions over the pan and get them just nicely browned before you add in the garlic. To make our sauce, we're going to add the rest of the flour that we did not use to toss the lamb shanks with. So pop that in and mix with the onions and cook it for a good minute. To this, we're going to add both beef stock and orange juice, which will give our lamb a lovely, just a tender sweet flavour, not too sweet, but a delicious flavour. A couple of cups of beef stock, or if you want to, you could use white wine or red wine. And if you don't have either of those, just use water. And a couple of cups of orange juice. Stir that and bring it to the boil. Once your sauce comes to the boil, add in some prunes and a little trick is to add in some barley and some thyme. You can use fresh or dried thyme. Stir it all together and then very carefully pour it over the lamb shanks and the casserole. Now a little trick for you. Make sure you've got the meat covered with sauce. It will be far more tender if it is into an oven about 160 degrees, no higher. You just want it to murmur along while the lamb shanks melt to a beautiful tenderness. Into the oven. When you serve your lamb shanks, just garnish them up with a little bit of extra herb like some fresh thyme. It smells and looks fantastic. Great tips for lamb shanks. Browning the lamb shanks and vegetables before adding to a casserole will add colour and flavour. Cook lamb shanks long and slow to ensure tenderness. If you can, rest and chill the lamb shanks overnight in the refrigerator. They'll have much better flavour the next day.